Hello guys again. So let's do the second part of this video. This this problem. This problem now is is, is more straightforward even. Uh, the problem is telling you the cable is subject to this uh, uniform loading. It's 60 kilonewton per meter. And determine the maximum and minimum tension in the cable. Well, now now we have a really 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 straightforward uh, problem. If you have the formulas. Where are the formulas? My formulas here. If you have the formulas, you just have to apply them. That's it. And recognize always that L is going to be this. That's the important thing. So T maximum is this one. And what is T minimum? T maximum, remember, happens when the maximum slope is. And T minimum happens when the minimum slope is. So for our problem, T minimum is no other thing that FH and you have both of them so this is super 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 easy problem so let's put the formula here remember I don't remember formulas I just deny the formulas all the time I don't know why my brain resists to memorize that type of things that doesn't mean that I don't know how to do the problem if I don't get the formulas provided because I can either derive the formula or I can or I can use another approach which is not the formulas itself. T max FH here FH I'm gonna put it here FH equals T mean equals W L square divided by two H. Now T max, let's go for T max. equals W 60 times uh, L how much is L? L is L is L is L is here how much? 50 square root of 1 plus L 100? Of course not. 50 divided by 2 times 12 square. T max equals sixty times fifty times square root parentheses. Uh, 1 plus parenthesis 50 divided by 2 divided by 12 close parenthesis square close parenthesis 0.5 6932.7 look how easy this problem is T mean equals FH equals W 60 times L square 50 square divided by 2 times 12 T mean equals 60 times 50 square is 2500 divided by 24 6 to 50 Exactly. Kilonewton. Done. Problem solved. Now, you don't have the formulas. You don't remember uh, uh, the formulas. Good old statics. Please don't remember your statics. So you go to statics and you do the same thing that we did before. You get the cable over there. This is the cable that we have over there. We have this low. We have this load here, distributed load. That distributed load is 60 kilonewton meter. This L is 50 meters. This sagging is 12 meters. And what do we have here? We have Vx, Vy, Fh here 
and always you have to recognize that uh, FH is the the minimum tension and the maximum tension is going to happen here T max equals T minimum now uh, what is this value here 50 times 60 3000 and the distance is once again 25 meters now we just do summation of moments where are you going to do summation of moments well summation of moments at V let me put this so you don't think it's the same problem this is one approach and this is the second approach summation of moments at B equals zero if we do that once again 3000 times the distance how much is that distance uh, 25 minus FH times 12 equals 0 FH equals T mean equals 3000 times 25 divided by 12 6250 kilonewton now what what else do we do we can calculate the by from here or we can calculate the by from here if we use the the general drawing for doing this we can say that a y equals b y equals w which is 60 times 100 divided by 2 which is 3000 kilonewton I'm just for symmetry as I explained in the other problem you want to do it from here okay you do it from here it doesn't matter you say 3000 times 25 here right and then you have to put or yeah the value of bx which is this one bx times 12 plus by times 50 and do moment here but you don't need to do moment so once you have this one and you have this one this is bx right so t max is going to be the square root because it's this one of bx squared plus by squared in this problem in particular because it's happening there so t max is the square root of 3000 square plus uh, what 3000 square what did I do this is not 3000 30,000 no how much is that 6000 divided by 2 60 times 100 divided by 2 yeah this is bx square plus by square uh, by square times bx square that's it so t max is going to be equal to square plus 3000 square to the point 0.5 oops quit I don't want to quit I'm not quitter so ans square plus 3000 square to the point 0.5 6932.7 there you go second part two approach approaches first part two approaches I'm gonna post more videos keep watching guys have a good day